Hello folks and welcome back to Earth X. We are here at the Red Moon Rocket Rocket Company and uh, last episode we went through and took a look and started building up our vehicles and getting all that. We started with a small rocket, we've had a few failures there, we then built a medium rocket, we now have access to large rockets and then we also have a crew capsule. If we take a look at our research here real fast, uh, we are getting close to a heavy rocket. Uh, we just need to get some more money because we're kind of uh, low on money right now. We need to launch some more large rocket and automatically land some of these large rockets. So should we, uh, I think we just got access to. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, and then uh, here we still have to have some fairings. So we need to automatically land seven rockets and crew capsule support is launching three more, uh, which will allow us to get to the ISS. Uh, otherwise, if we take a look here, uh, we need to get this, which we have to have one more cargo mission go up, which will be fine. And then finally over here, if we take a look, uh, we are on the Earth engine. Uh, we can do that, but in order to do that, we need to land 14 rockets in order to get our spaceship engine going. Uh, in our contracts area here of what we have, we have lots of active contracts. Uh, so let's take a look and see large rocket wise, what do we got? We can launch this bad boy up and there's nothing there right now. Uh, if we go over into our medium rockets and uh, ooh, we got to refurbish that one. If we launch this guy up again, nothing. Uh, so one of the things I mentioned last time playing this game is there's a lot of pop ups, a lot of things you got to click on. It's just a, a very click happy game. Not that there's anything wrong with that, uh, but we just need to do uh, make sure we're aware of that. Uh, oh, we have some very large uh, rockets that we need to do. Uh, so we definitely need to start getting some of these guys up and over here to get to our very large uh, heavy rocket, we need to launch 10 more large rockets. So we're just going to launch some of the large rockets just cause and hopefully have them land just cause. So we're going to launch this bad boy with that. We'll launch that. Hit our launch button whenever it appears. There we go. And it will take off from wherever it's at and launch and do its thing. And while that's happening, let's take a look at some of our contracts and see if we can get some medium stuff. All right, that one's again a series of stuff that doesn't start till 2013. That's way out there. Uh, we need some more <coughs> kind of immediate things. Uh, so this one, we can launch. There's two of those. We can absolutely take that on. This one's small. Oh yeah, we can take that. Another small one. We can take that. Right now, we just need cash. So we're going to take pretty much anything that is offered to us. Uh, we're going to accept those all. Uh, so our small rockets now, we should be able to launch that one. We'll hit launch, and that bad boy is going to fly. There it goes. All right, our next one here, we're going to launch you once uh, this clears out of there, which we're going to speed the game up just a touch. All right, got that. We'll launch you. All right, it looks like uh, our rocket is currently on pace. Our large rocket, should I say, is on pace to land, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna keep launching all these small rockets while we can. And then we should just have one more that we need to fly. And there we go, we got those and we popped the $42 million, which doesn't seem like a lot of money for a rocket company, but it's okay, uh, we'll get there. Let's see, oh, we got some things we can launch here, beautiful. And what's nice here is the different size rockets use different size launch pads and they're not interchangeable. Like you cannot use a medium one with something else. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so we basically need to wait for this rocket to go up and come back down to land before we can do anything. Now we could build another rocket area for that. Uh, it's just the problem with that is that uh, it requires a lot of money to do that. Uh, and last I checked, we do not have a lot of money. Uh, we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna take a moon. We're gonna fly to the moon. Why not? So we just need to wait for this guy to come back. You'll hear a little tick, -tick which is when it lands. There it is. And then we can launch this one out. All right. That unlocks some more stuff for us. If we take a look at upgrades, uh, we do have crew capsule support now, so we're able to go to the ISS. And the last thing we need to do is land four more of these to be able to upgrade uh, to get the fairings, okay? Which is the little top capsule that's, that protects the uh, payload. Uh, over here, if we take a look, we still need to launch a lot more of the large rockets. Uh, crew capsule support, we need to launch one more cargo mission to the ISS. 
So let's take a look and see if we have any contracts that will do that for us. Do we have any, ooh, what do we got here? That's a small one, that's it's not a lot of money, but we can get that. This one is very small, so we will accept that. Another small one. The only thing with the small ones is that we know we're hurting at this point. All right, so we will, we're gonna have to build some more small rockets, but we're gonna be able to launch a whole bunch of them here in short order. And then we're gonna go back here and take a look at our medium rockets and see how we have, we can fly both those, but you can see uh, our drone ship's not available yet. So we need to wait for the drone ship. If we don't use the drone ship, it can actually land back at its launching location. All right, so we'll launch that with the, that, and we don't do not have uh, automatic landing with our medium rocket. So we're gonna have to pay attention to make sure, right around the 30 second mark or so, we have to make sure we land that rocket. There it is, we'll click and we'll land that, and then we can launch this one. And again, we're just trying to make some cash right now because we are not doing well in that department. Let's refurbish that while we're launching this. All right, we have a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do, so let's take a look. We have the ISS that we need to send stuff up to. Our large rockets are all ready to fly. Oh, we have stuff we can launch on them. Beautiful. And let's, no, we don't need that. Let's go back to our crew capsule. All right, that one's ready to fly. We can send it up with a medium rocket and we're gonna launch that one along with some everyday stickers. I guess we need to wait for this area to clear out but that should also unlock the crew capsule for us because we'll have uh, four hopefully successful missions to the ISS or whatever number it called for. So we're gonna launch that one, hit launch. I suppose I could have done that with a, a larger rocket. And that would have allowed it to automatically land. Okay, what do we got here? What do we do? Do we have a drone ship? I don't even know if we have that. All right, let's go take a look at our vehicles. Oh, we have to build a drone ship, which is gonna cost us $16 million. <laughs> okay. It gives us another landing option now, so we can uh, kind of use up some more stuff. Let's refurbish our large rocket. Again, this game is just click happy city. Uh, I apologize, but that's just how it rolls. And we have too much stuff for that one, so we're just going to launch some of these as is. And research-wise, what do we got? All right, so we sent uh, the first operational cargo capsule to the ISS. Awesome. And then we have, uh, oh, we have more p people working on rockets. Of course we do. Uh, but if we take a look here, we can upgrade our cargo one, so it's back to basic. And then we have this one, which now we have our crew capsule. And in vehicles now, we have a crew capsule that we can build. And we're actually gonna build an additional ISS there, or a cargo one there, because we don't have enough of those. All right, these guys can both launch once we get this rocket back. It should be back, there we go. Oh, we're gonna lose that one, no. <laughs> So, <clears throat> let me explain what just happened there. Uh, this one is launching, and we can go take a look at it as it prepares for launch. Now we are underneath the ground, here we go, and we're just following it. But as it goes up into space, there's our capsule returning to uh, Earth there. This one's just gonna fall back because we don't have a drone ship up and running yet. It's still under construction. If I would wait 11 more seconds, we would have been fine, but I did not wait 11 more seconds. Uh, so we're primarily based out of Australia here with uh, our rockets, but you can see there are some launch facilities and testing facilities out here. So there's, looks like there's a landing thing. There's our engine test firing area. There's another engine test firing area. 
Uh, we have our larger rocket launch area. I don't know what that one is. Uh, and we have our drone ship that's hopefully will work for us here soon. So we have all of that stuff. Uh, let's go in and take a look. Do we have, oh, we gotta refurbish both of our medium rockets. Do we still have small ones? We do. Do we have anything? Nope, they can't launch anything. Uh, large rocket wise, we're refurbishing one and repairing the others. So we'll just hold off on those. All right, nope, there's nothing to launch with that. We will have to send that one there. Crew capsule. We don't have a rocket big enough to support that. So we're gonna have to take a look and see what all we need here. Uh, so we need to still launch seven crew capsules to the ISS, which we don't have the ability to yet because we don't have a rocket big enough. We need to get this one. Which we're just gonna send I think we're just going to launch large rockets up once we have it refurbished. Whenever that happens. So we'll static fire that bad boy. Hopefully it's ready to roll. You can see there's one static fire left and you static click on the question firing. mark. We get Carolina here. It gives us all kinds of fun stuff. We'll static fire that one. And then this one's ready to fly. We're just gonna launch it. And you can see now that we have our drone ship, we can go to drone ship one, LZ one, or LZ two. And what's awesome about this as well is that we have lots of areas that we can actually set our rocket up to go out of. So once it launches, we should be good. All right, so that should be coming back down here any moment. There we go. I'm going to set that onto the drone ship. And what's probably going to happen is that rocket's going to blow up. Usually, uh, at least from my experience in this game, when they come back, they blow up. <laughs> but that's okay. We're trying to perfect that landing at sea. You can see that the drone ship is not available, so we're just going to launch that up to number two there. It looks like that one did make... Okay, so what do we do? Oh, we landed on our drone ship. Our prediction was 2009. We did it in 2011. That's okay. We need heavy, and we should be up with fairings here real soon. There it is. So let's upgrade those, and then our next launch, we should have fairings ready to roll. So we are able to actually, let's follow this one out here. There it is. We'll take off. Now this part should go back to the drone ship. There it is, look at it. Yeah. And according to this, we've also, I think we just did our first fairing catch as well. I'm not positive about that, but I think we have that down. Okay, we're down to $5 million, so we need to actually, uh, like, you know, do some stuff. Uh, we don't have a rocket for that, uh, but we do have a resupply, so we can launch that one in our cargo crew. Let's send it up in a large rocket along with that, and we'll launch that bad boy up. And then you can take a look. All of this stuff is not available for a very long time. We are gonna be very busy for quite a while in this game, but we need some more immediate stuff because uh, we're running out of money. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look here how we can undercut all of these people. This one, yeah, we can undercut you guys as well. Small, very small, yep, we can do that. Very small, it's in our time frame. Two of them, yeah, we can do that. All right, so let's go through, start trying to get some of these out of here. All right, well, we got some money. We got a lot of money for somewhere. I don't know where, but we got a lot of money. So our small guys aren't doing anything. How about our medium rockets? There we go, that's what I wanna see. Launch some of these medium rockets up. And then we just gotta land it. 
right around the 30 second mark. Boom. Hopefully that one comes in. Oh, it blew up. We'll build a new one. Let's go take a look at this. Our finance area we have okay so we need to reuse 13 rockets still automatically land four more okay that gives us a launch director which does that stuff the lead engineer we need more for fleet managers more our assistant we need more although not too many more we need just a little bit more oh and they automatically accept contracts cool inspector oh we just need one more Less explosions, faster build times, also stack fire. Oh, so they automatically take care of stack firing. And we just need to build an office. We can absolutely do that one. Scrap engineer, we have that. Okay, so you're just gonna remove unused vehicles. We can do that. And our media manager, we have to have link link customers, which is also known as Starlink. Uh, but we don't have any of those right now. So let's go over into the build area. What we're missing right now is an office. So we're gonna plop in a new office right there. All right, and then in our finance area, what else do we have? Oh, we have this. Even though we didn't build the office, like as far as having it done, we are building it. Uh, so we'll unlock you and we'll hire you for $700,000. That sounds like a deal. All right, we need one more capsule to go to the ISS and then we can get that. And we have a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and this is the part where automation starts coming in big time to this game, where you don't have to worry about stuff. It will just go and do its thing. No problem for you. Uh, but we have to have the rockets to do it. And right now, we need to focus on having enough money to unlock the heavy rocket. And we should be in really good shape once we have the heavy. So let's go ahead and try to find some more small or medium rockets. So we can even go large. It doesn't really matter. That one starts later, later, later. I need stuff now. So these guys are all now. We're gonna accept that offer, we're gonna accept that offer. Okay, let's go and launch. Now we have a bunch of these we need to refurbish, my bad. Okay, let's launch this guy. Two, three, four. All right, we can launch it out to the drone ship and do our thing. Medium rockets, we have this guy, which we'll be able to launch here soon as well. Yeah, that one made us 15 mil. Beautiful. Ah, right, we caught our first car uh, fairing. I was only a year off on that one. First heavy launch. Except so that is 2015. I think we're gonna be able to do better than that. Because we should be able to unlock that here in just a little bit. All right, and our cargo capsule has returned. So we'll refurbish that guy. We're gonna launch another one using I guess we're using a large rocket and we're just gonna fly some stickers up there. It'll cost us some money. That's okay. And all of our rocket launches, everything we do, it's getting cheaper and easier. All right, so let's go in here and take a look. Uh, we have this, which we can unlock for $49 million and that's gonna do our heavy. I wanna say Falcon heavy, but it's not Falcon heavy. Uh, and then we can also unlock the, bay oh, we have to have them built, but we can do some more stuff. In our finance area, look at that. We can do some rocket tequilas and make 500 million. So that was a worthwhile investment for us. Uh, now here we have the heavy rocket and we're gonna build a couple of those. And they just require a large factory. So we should be good with that. And you can see that we make some good cash through all that stuff. All right, let's take a look here. What do we need to refurbish? So that one needs to be refurbished. That one's docked, ready to go. You are ready to fly as well. If I click on that, does it give me option? No, okay. Then we have something else that popped up in managers. Who do we got? Negotiate contract, accepts offer. She lowers your deadline fines unlock and we'll hire you for half a million dollars a year okay there we go we already have stuff paying off for us although i think we can probably do that with a medium rocket and the reason why i want to do that is the launch fee is significantly less 
I probably could have used a small rocket there, but that's okay. No, I launched a large rocket anyway, my bad. If I go back here and look at a medium rocket, you can see the price is less. It's not significant, so... And while all of this is happening, we just need to land one more rocket and we can start our hopper test. Along with our, hold on, what else do we have? Our, no, excuse me, our spaceship engine requires one more automatically landed rocket. So let's go take a look. Just need our drone ship back in space. There we go, we'll launch that bad boy. And our medium rocket, can it fly? Oh, it can. And it can fly even more. So that's coming back. Then we can launch you. Launch that one. And in about 30 seconds, we'll land it. Refurbish that, refurbish, refurbish, and then for our heavies, uh, they're still being built, you need a stack fire, okay. No biggie, but let's take a look at our upgrades that we have available to us, which is a spaceship engine. For $10 million, we can go ahead and construct that, and then we'll start testing on there. Uh, we still need seven heavy rockets launched, and we still need to launch crew capsules. And let's go over, not the company, yeah, the company. So we'll test that out, the spaceship engine. Manager-wise, we need to reuse eight more rockets, and we get that, and that launches normal rockets on Earth. So it should automate and that, if I'm reading correctly. Uh, lead engineer, we need to land on the drone ship more, and they're gonna automatically refurbish that stuff. That's awesome. That one, we're not anywhere close to Mars. And we pretty much have everything else. So we need to really just focus on launching and landing stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna launch, oh, we have stuff we can launch and that's gonna land on a drone ship. And what I think we're gonna do is build another launch area over here. So if I go into the building area and scroll over, I want this large launch pad. And I'm gonna use Q to rotate this around. And we're gonna build that. It will exist right near our main base and in drone ships. I guess we have to wait till that's built, but we should have another option for building or launching things here. All right, we're ready to fly with our first one. Um, we're not going to launch any of these guys. We're just going to launch concrete. And as soon as our drone ship comes back, we'll launch. All right, so we beat our prediction there of our first heavy launch uh, from 2015, got it 13. We still need to do our crewed launch, our first spaceship launch, moon landings, and all of the above there, which is uh, rather exciting, honestly. We'll, we'll get it all figured out. So this thing just needs to build. We have a lot of other missions we need to take care of, so let's go take care of some of these other missions. Why is... Okay, this is where the heavy one comes into play, because we can launch a lot of these things together. So let's go take a look here. Ooh, that guy needs to get refurbished, okay. Do we have any that can fly with the small? No. Okay, our small rockets are kind of useless right now. Medium rockets? Oh, we can do some stuff there. Let's go launch that one hopefully get it to land and then we're gonna go over here to our large rockets and launch and as soon as it lands we'll launch this one off nope oh, it didn't land <laughs> Thank you. 
And we're just really just trying to churn through getting some of these things launched and making some cash. Uh, I need to get some of these large ones going now. You can see that we can get significantly more stuff. It costs almost double, but we can take two rockets up. And that will land. We just need to wait for the drone ship to come back. And when it becomes that, becomes available, we'll launch. And our second one is ready, so we can build drone ship two. And you can see that we have another launch pad available to us here, which is awesome. So we have launch pad one and launch pad two. And what we can do is we can click on these and change their names. So instead of large launch pad, I can say uh, LLP, and this is gonna just be two. So when I go into the launch window from now on, you see LLP2. I want to find where the other launch pad is, which is this one. So I'm just going to call this LLP1, just so I have a better reference point of what's what. Okay, let's get back. Oh, gosh. No, it's because we're watching it launch and it was success. Good. And we have our second drone ship. Cool. We can call them different things too. Uh, drone ship one and two, since we have landing zone one and two, makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. Looks like something blew up. That's fine. I just want to try to maximize some of these. It's a new year, which means all the contracts pop up of all the work you have to do. And let's go back to our large rockets. Waiting for drone ship two. There it is. Wash that one off. Come on, drone ship one. We need to go. There you are. And oh, yay, we got more managers. Launch director, yes. This one is gonna allow us to just automatically launch stuff. Two and a half million dollars, I don't care. And then we just need to land on drone ship more, but that's fine, we can do that. Should not be a big deal, and we'll be in real good shape with that. Uh, as far as research goes, I guess we should, uh, yeah, you know, like test that again. Because for the space hopper, we need to fire that twice. To land this medium rocket. There it is. Oh, they take care of that for me too? Awesome. Um, there's a pop up there with the news. So, first part of the ISS. After the Red Moon Rocket Company, blah, 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 blah. okay. So, we have to take some astronauts to the ISS. We can do that. So, we're going to launch that on a large rocket. Let's see, what are our contracts here? Goodness gracious, we have a lot of active ones. And 
And it doesn't give us a lot of information, but it's a very small moon orbit. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's launch that. Oh man, we can launch so much stuff. When you can start stacking missions on top of each other, it gets to be a lot more fun. Just opens up so many possibilities for you of what you can do and how much money you can make. You see our income, we're significantly higher than what we used to be. So that one's docked. This guy's ready to fly. I just don't have a flight for him. All right, let's just launch. I don't care. Here he comes, ready? Oh, I zoomed out, but he landed right there. Cool. All right. No. Okay, and launch to that. Yeah, that's what we want. Lots of rockets. All of the rockets. We're going to launch a Tesla Roadster into space, or we can do a Mars camera orbit. That's fun. Alright, we need to land on drone ship one. Or drone ship too, doesn't matter. So we'll launch that one, refurbish all of these, get that one ready for launch, and that one's gonna launch to Mars here. Or at least send that thing on its way to Mars. I just need to wait for a drone ship to pop up. There we go, we're gonna launch that one. And we're gonna launch that one too. All right, we unlocked some new research. We have to test this one again. What do we get? Ooh, we can upgrade the basic stuff, so it's gonna save us a little bit of money. And then we need to have some more Cargo launches to the ISS along with uh, the heavy rocket, and that gives us crew capsule support. All right, so we need to get, let's refurbish all of these guys. We're gonna launch, nope, 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 not that I want it. Crew caps, not crew capsule, cargo capsule. We need to add a new one. We're gonna launch that on a medium rocket. Oh, we can actually send it up with stuff. Awesome, that's even better. About 30 seconds in the flight, we just need to make sure it lands. Cool. All right. Heavy rocket wise, we can refurbish these and launch out, hopefully, a bunch of these. And it looks like it popped up. We have some new managers available to us, so we can unlock that, which is going to build and refurbish uh, our vehicles. We can set the amount of vehicles there. Okay, so we'll hire you. We just have our fleet manager and then our media manager, which I don't particularly care about right now. Our research. Uh, ooh, we got the hopper, so we can build that. And then let's see what we do with vehicles. So I always want to have two of these on hand. These, I always want two on hand. Heavy rocket, I think we always want to have five of those on hand. We're just going to have five of every rocket available to us at any one time. And there we go. All right. So we went through and added a whole bunch of stuff, but mainly uh, we were able to get our large rocket ready to roll, which I'm excited about. The only thing you can't do is reach the surface of the moon or the surface of Mars. That's going to be 
something we need to do with our super heavy rocket or our cargo spaceship, tanker spaceship, and crew spaceship, or our moon ship. We have a whole bunch of stuff we need to do along with stuff over here, but we'll figure that out next time we come through and play EarthX. Folks, it's been a blast. I think we got some stuff accomplished. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. But if you have any suggestions, questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in our next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.